Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to install CAFE with CUDNN support on the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. First thing we do is go to the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub and find install CAFE JTX1 repository. We're going to grab that address, then git clone from that address. Let's switch over to that repository. And we have some scripts. Let's place the Jetson TX1 into maximum performance mode. We use sudo for permissions, maxperformance.sh. So it looks like we have our CPU frequency set at 1.9 gigahertz. What the script does, let's take a look at the script for a second. What it does is just force all the CPUs into the maximum clock rate along with the GPU. And it also turns on the fan for safety. Let's take a look at the install script. Install cafe cudnn.sh. This is on a fresh install from Jetpack 2.0. Make sure that you install OpenCV for Tegra, CUDA 7.0, and CUDNN version 4. The first thing we do is just install our dependencies. Then we're going to clone cafe, copy over the make file. Within that make file that we copy over, we're going to uncomment the UCUDNN flag. So that's what this little sed command does here. We are also going to change around some of our constants. This is a 32-bit implementation. So we need to take this very large number and convert it to a larger but smaller number. So we're going to switch it down from one, te uh, one terabyte to half a terabyte. Next, we'll make everything and then we'll run a test to make sure everything worked. So let's run that script. Dot slash install cafe cudnn.sh. Here we're cloning cafe. And we start compiling. After compilation is complete, we'll run some tests to make sure that our installation works correctly. So you can see all our tests pass. So let's do our little time test that we usually do. Oops, I have to switch over to the cafe directory. Try that again.
let's compare those to the numbers that we got without using CUDNN. So these are the original numbers. So you can see that the 179 compares to the 103, the 144 compares to the 117, and the 324 compares to the 221. So it's quite a bit faster to use the CUDNN library and well worth the time to install it. Thanks for watching.